Hi everyone and welcome to the French Crochetist channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make this very easy um, beret. And I use two different kind of yarn. At first I will show you with the medium worsted weight yarn and then the light worsted weight yarn. As you can see the shape might differ. to start like I said with the medium worsted weight yarn and the 4.5 millimeter crochet hoop I will need some scissors and you might need a stitch marker at the beginning of your round if you want to make sure you don't miss it and the measuring tape of course so let's start to make a magic ring we make a slip knot and chain four one two three and four and close with a slip stitch and chain one so this chain one will not count as a stitch it will just be a chain one now let's make eight half double crochet inside the magic ring. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the three loops. Again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the three loops. Continue like this until you have eight half double crochet inside the ring. Let's speed it up. As you can see, I'm crocheting around the yarn, so I don't really need to weave it in at the end. Once we are done with the 8 half double crochet, let's make a slip stitch at the very first half double crochet and chain 1. Again it doesn't count as a stitch and here you can see me tightening the center of our ring. Now our round 2, we need to make 2 half double crochet in every single stitch that means we will have 16 half double crochet at the end of this second round let's speed it up Again, at the end of the round, we make a slip stitch inside the very first half double crochet of the round and chain one. Don't forget to use a stitch marker if you need it. Now, for the round three, we need to make one half double crochet in the first stitch, two half double crochet in the second stitch and we will repeat like this until the end of the round one half double crochet two half double crochet one half double crochet two half double crochet that means at the end of the round we will have 24 stitches it also means that you have to finish with two half double crochet if your last stitch is not too hard double crochet, you made a mistake somewhere. Let's speed it up. Press 
here we are at the end of the round. The two last stitches, so we make one half double crochet in the first one and two half double crochet in the very last one before making a slip stitch at the very first half double crochet of the round and chain one For the round four, we need to make one half double crochet in the first two stitches and two half double crochet in the third one. And we'll continue like this all around. That means we will have 32 stitches at the end of this round. So this is how it will work to increase your rounds, you will add one half double crochet in each repetition until you reach the desired length. I will still explain to you for the round five and then we will jump at the end of the increasing part of the circle. So again for round four, we have one half double crochet, again one half double crochet and then two half double crochet eight times okay so we have four stitches in each repetition one half double crochet one half double crochet two half double crochet and we continue like this until the end of the round so what does it mean for round five we need to make five stitches for each repetition one half double crochet in the three first stitches and two half double crochet in the fourth one. Again, in round five, we need five stitches for each repetition. One half double crochet, one half double crochet, one half double crochet, two half double crochet. And this for eight times. So continue until the end of the round. And this will be exactly the same for the rest of the rounds. We add one half double crochet each time until you reach a 33 centimeters or 13 inches wide circle. I'm not talking about the circumference. I'm talking about the width across. And at round 22, you actually can count the rounds by counting the number of circles. It's not very clear here on the picture, but once you make it, you will see how you can count the rounds. So here we have 22 rounds, okay, with one increase for each repetition each time. And this is the end of the round 22 that means we have to make 20 times one half double crochet and in the 21st stitch we need to make two half double crochet remember we always have to finish with two half double crochet i will actually put all the details in the description and tell you how many stitches you need for each repetition in each round. Let's speed it up a little. So here it what it looks like at the end of the increasing part. This is not a perfect circle. Why? Because we are making the increasing always at the same part of your circle. Here I check if I have 13 inches. And of course you can add some rounds if you prefer to have your hat a little bit bigger. 
So here in round 23, we don't add any stitches and we don't remove any either. So that means we'll have exactly the same number of stitches as the round 22. That means 176 stitches, but we only make single crochet, not out double crochet anymore. Continue like this until the end of the round. And make sure you count your stitches. Here we have another look at our circle, or more like a spiral. And this is before we start to decrease the number of stitches in each round. And in round 24, we put every two single crochet together. So basically what you're going to do, you insert your hook in the first stitch, then insert your hook in the second stitch, that means we have three loops on the hook and we pull through the three loops. Again, insert your hook in the first stitch, pull up a loop, insert your hook in the second stitch, pull up a loop, we have three loops on the hook and pull through the three loops. Insert, pull up a loop, insert, pull up a loop, and pull through the three loops. This is our first decreasing round. And basically we divide the number of stitches by two. So at the beginning, we have 176 stitches and we end up with 88 stitches. Continue like this until the end of the round. I actually advise you to try your hat first and make sure it's still too big before you add another decreasing round. So here at the end of the round we slip stitch and you see it starts to go inside your hat and making the shape. So round 25, this is slightly different because we have 88 stitches, okay? That means 8 times 11 stitches. So what we're going to make, we're going to make one single crochet in the nine first stitches and we will put the stitch number 10 and 11 together, okay? One single crochet in the nine first stitches and we will join the stitch number 10 and 11 together in every single repetition. So now I finished the nine single crochet already and this is the stitch number 10 and stitch number 11 that I put together. And this is the end of the very first repetition of the second decreasing round and you just need to continue like this all around nine single crochet and the last two ones together if your hat is still too big we need to make a round 26 that means one single crochet in the first eight stitches and we put the stitch number nine and ten together that means at the end of the round, we will have 72 stitches. So here we finally arrive at the stitch number 9 and 10 that we are putting together. So continue like this until the end of the round and this is what it looks like. 
in its final shape and I will add one more round of single crochet with the exact same number of stitches which means I end up with 72 stitches so in your case you can continue to decrease if you like so as you understood you have 72 stitches that means 8 times 9 stitches that means you have to join the stitch number 8 and 9 together if you still need a more and more round which I doubt but we never know you would have to put the stitch 7 and 8 together Don't hesitate to let me know in the comments if you're not sure how many stitches you need to make in the next round. So here in the video I'm just finishing my very last round of single crochet without increasing, without decreasing. And that's it. At the very end I will just make a slip stitch cut the yarn and fasten off Tada! Et voilà, c'est fini. Thank you for watching.